you guys got this model, you'll pretty much know when you get this shipped or out of unpackaged, you have to actually screw this on. So you already knew this. Let's take that off. Uh, this is the cover. It's kind of around here. Just snaps right off. All right. So I'm gonna attempt to take out these four screws for the back. Okay, looks like there's several screws here, 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 and I'll take them off. Okay, what I found, uh, when you take the three screws out, uh, I got in here with the putty knife, and uh, you really got to be careful, you don't want to use anything that will scratch it, and it all basically just snaps, I found out the best thing to do is start in the bottom, work your way around, open up your... Uh, DVD drive and you'll have to use a paper clip to open it and take off the face and work your way all the way around this side here and then the top it'll kind of pretty much go like that and just keep working your way till you pop it off and there's little tabs you see all the little tabs all the way around and put this aside put on pause so I can give you a closer look what else we what the next step is okay from the looks of it uh, I believe the memory may be under here I'm not quite sure because Fan is your hard drive, SATA, laptop size, DVD ROM, and to get to these screws, you gotta take off this plate. I'm assuming. Nice. Okay, there were uh, one with these other screws I, that you saw I took out. There's three. There's also little arrows, little triangle arrows that show you which one to remove this plate. And just carefully remove it. Make sure there's nothing underneath. I always try to go slow. Okay, all right, that's where you put this plate aside. Obviously, this is where the memory is. Try to get a little close up. And all right. There she goes. Okay, all right, now it looks like there's no dims. Pop these two out, and you got two spots, and this is 4 gig, so uh, I believe 8 gig is the max, 
It's DDR3 1200S PC3L. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get another one of these, order another one. I uh, hope you can see that. But anyway, there's also where you can change your CMOS battery right here. Alright, so basically in a nutshell, that's all we need to do. I mean, I uh, hope this helps other people. And because you're not going to get the right answer from Acer, I'll tell you that right now. Uh, this is for the Acer Aspire AZ700G series. Again, this is a so dim, not an ashram like Acer states at, uh, on the website when I chatted with the person there, whoever it was. They didn't know what they were talking about. They were fighting with me. I was pretty sure it was a so dim. They kept saying SDRAM, but anyway, as we both know now, that's what it is. Alright, like I got like I say, I hope it helps everyone. And uh, I'm gonna close for now. Everyone take care. Thank you for watching.